This is testing 16 gigabytes of RAM, opening and rendering a After Effects song, including boot times of the program and rendering times. So this is how long it takes to load the full song. So I'm gonna reframe it to fit up to 100%. So it's not in the RAM anymore. Now let's see. 10 FPS, 8 FPS, 6 FPS. Okay, it's almost done. That took a while. All right, now it's gonna play real time. I don't really care about that. So we're gonna export it, add it to Adobe Media Encoder. Now I can close After Effects itself. Now it's gonna be a high bitrate source, so 10 MB a second. And let's see how long this takes. Also, I'm running this memory on 3400 megahertz i'm not sure maybe 3200 megahertz the official spec is 3000 megahertz so i'll show you in a second what i'm running so i can run them all four at that rate as well because we want a fair fight so i'll be right back so now it's using 8.4 around that i don't know what time it took us but like 41 to 42 minutes so now we're gonna do a sony vegas there we go, I think that's it. So let's render this with my preset YouTube preset. It's going one frame per second, that is weird. I'll wait until it's uh, not doing stupid. That seems to be now, so let's start it. There we go, that's better. Okay, so it took seven minutes and 23 seconds. So that means this much FPS render. As for settings, this is what I'm running right now. As you can see, 3200 megahertz because above that you won't notice anything but the RAM sticks are actually 3000 I just overclocked them a little bit so as you can see 16 gigabyte 2 times 8 and the reason why I'm only doing like tests with renders because in gaming you don't really need more than 16 in most games but I'll do a Cinebench test and then I'll swap the RAM to 4 sticks so no priority stuff just start to finish as you can hear from the fans, I have some uh, cooling uh, issues. So become a Patreon today so I can buy some good cooling, thank you. 1472, the score can change a lot, but I'm just gonna do the first time because I have scored 100 points higher, that was with high priority and the first like second of my PC, so it was as cool as I could get it. Now I'll put in the other two sticks of RAM and we'll go to my BIOS. Okay, so we're in my BIOS. XMP is on again. I'm gonna save my overclocking profile. Let's boot into Windows and do some benchmarks. Okay, so that kind of failed. So let's just go to 3000 megahertz. Oh, something's wrong. Okay, so we're in Windows, but with default settings. So I'm gonna get back in my BIOS and try to overclock it and be right back. Okay, so I couldn't bring up the clock speed over 2.3 gigahertz, even though the CPU can handle 2666 times 4, I think at least. But anyway, it doesn't matter, it's still more than the two sticks together, and it's double the sticks, so it will be spread more. And there are 16 gigs extra of memory, so let's do the tests that we did earlier. And let's go. Okay, that seemed faster. Let's zoom out and click play. Let's see, 13 FPS. As you can maybe hear, the audio is playing slower because of the FPS. So listen to this. Sorry, I didn't have it on full. So that kind of ruins the whole thing, doesn't it? But you get the point, right? Task Manager, it is using 24 of the 32 gigabytes of RAM. And that's exactly why I need more RAM, is basically for like After Effects and stuff. Now let's send this to our media encoder. All right, all right. Same thing starting, and now we wait. So after 42, minutes not even 42 and a half minutes it's done i forgot about the first one it was around 42 minutes as well so rendering doesn't seem to be impacted on after effects at least so let's get to vegas pro let's see how fast this goes wow what <laughs> okay so the thing is spinning up again but look and three percent see so that's the weird part 
So let's render. Okay, it goes frame by frame again. Hold up, my old PC is doing stupid. Okay, so finally the PC has cooled down because it was loading all the video preview screens. So now we can start the render. Okay, so this seems to have been a lot faster than the previous one because this one finished in six minutes and five seconds. And that is 14,243 frames. And it's probably because I waited with this one with the like CPU doing weird shit, but I don't think it used much more RAM than it did with the 16. But I mean, four sticks helps versus two sticks. It's more about the speed now than the memory itself. So now on to the last test. And that is the Cinebench test. I think we had a score of uh, 1472, but let's run it now. 1383, that is not a good score. Maybe it's because the room is hotter now than before. So let me give it a few minutes. Not accurate, but it's just for a comparison, right? Okay, let's give it another try, even though it hasn't been that long. 1414 is our score. I mean, I don't know, it felt faster until like the overheating kicks in. So I think it's just because the room is hotter. I think I can even get a new high record, which is now 1575, as you can see right there. So yeah, these are my benchmarks for now. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more ideas on tech videos, leave it in the comments down below. I might do an overclocking guide on GPU, so graphics card, or the CPU, or even to get the temperatures cooler, even though I'm the one with the overheating problems. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Drive hard. Drive Mustang.